Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we are going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of September in the areas of love and relationship. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. We're gonna start with your angel guide oracle card and the card that has a message for you today is holy love. So uh, this is kind of like an ace of cups energy because you are definitely blessed blessed with love and the angels are uh, surrounding you with a lot of love uh, and and this is kind of like uh, telling you that maybe some of you have been filled unloved or unappreciated uh, but it's very really, it's time for you to open up for love and appreciation and 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 this is kind of like a very happy loveful energy when you're kind of um when you are uh, so happy that you don't know whether you should laugh or cry from the joy you are uh, feeling. But this can be also a card of self-love as well. So uh, so make sure that you are viewing yourself in a loving way and, and give yourself as well the permission to be uh, loved. And if you've been holding back, uh, definitely it's time for you to share the love that you have within and 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 it is also safe for you to do so so maybe you've been kind of having some blockages uh, from a love perspective so this card is encouraging you to open up uh, for love uh, so in the center of your reading you do have the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles is uh, the card of legacy family uh, uh, traditional uh, values so if you're kind of looking at it from a love and relationship perspective it can indicate a very stable reliable uh, relationship a long-term relationship um, that has uh, that brings you stability if you are single you can expect a very stable long-term relationship coming into your life or if you are already in a relationship probably this is a relationship that's been there for a while so this is kind of like this energy when you are starting your own family when you are creating your own generation for some of you it can be getting married getting engaged having children as well uh, again like it's a very stable multi-generational energy for some of you it might be that you are with a person or a person is coming into your life that is uh, uh, wealthier uh, than you are but again ten of pentacles is the card of stability and, and and beautiful energy of completion as well so tens are definitely can be an indication of an end of a cycle and starting of a new one uh, the first card uh, in your reading is the Wheel of Fortune, another 10. Uh, so there's definitely an end of a cycle here. Whenever the, this card comes up, this is really the card of change, the card of the wheels turning and uh, turning for the better. Uh, because, you know, this is uh, the lucky change, especially if you've been going through some difficulties. This card is telling you that good times are ahead. Um, this is when the universe is kind of uh, bringing you something and, and kind of working in the background to have things aligned for you. Uh, the energy of this card is when you are at the right time, at the right place and you are meeting the right people. Um, again, it's a beautiful energy of lucky change as well. Um, now, although this is a love and relationship, but you cannot kind of... Um, uh, you, you, you cannot disregard that there's kind of like a luck and money as well because you know ten of pentacles traditionally is the card of wealth windfall as well but again it can be an emotional wealth an emotional windfall as well or or a change that's kind of bring you a lot of stability uh, um, from an emotional uh, perspective but of, of course it can be also that maybe uh, there's a lot of uh, money and luck involved uh, in your love life now sometimes the wheel has to remove something so if you went through some breakup if you went through some divorce or some difficulties uh, the wheel uh, is sometimes removing something uh, and you need to kind of uh, uh, keep that in mind that the reason it's happening because the universe wants to bring you something better than you had and 
it has to, uh, the universe has to make space for it you also have here the justice card justice is the card of balance harmony uh, uh, and also can be a decision definitely can be connected to uh, some uh, divorce or a breakup as well if if if, uh, if you're kind of going through a divorce um, but again uh, if, if you're going through a, a, a difficult uh, divorce or something uh, I think I think luck is going to be on your side and you're definitely getting whatever you deserve because justice is when justice prevails and you're getting whatever you deserve and, and especially with this beautiful energy of ten of pentacles and 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 wheel of fortune I, I think uh, things turned out to be lucky for you uh, some of you might be making a big decision as well because justice can be connected to some decisions but also like you know just being just and fair can be very important for some of you this period of time now the next card in your reading is the three of wands the three of wands which is the card of early successes when you made your plans when you um kind of figure out what you want to do and you you're, you're able to see that okay this plan is working this is a very adventurous card as well so uh, because of that so if you're single you're not necessarily looking to settle down you're enjoying the adventures uh, that kind of ahead of you uh, and and you're enjoying the freedom as uh, whatever you have if whatever you have right now which there's nothing wrong with it uh, three of wands can be also like you know if you're in an existing relationship you might be saying okay this relationship is working uh, and and can be that you are thinking about the next horizon of, of maybe getting engaged and moving in with each other getting uh, married as well this card has an international kind of feel to it so for some of you might be connected to a trip going abroad uh, or being in a relationship with somebody who's in a different uh, town country uh, or uh, even continent than you are the next card in your reading is the king of cups so as the court card this can be a person your energy or just the energy of the card this is a person that's very stable somebody who is leading from his heart but somebody who is also very wise and diplomatic because he is not only listening to his heart but he's also listening to his brain listening to his logic and because of that he is very stable so in this case it can be a person that's coming into your life because this can be this very stable father figure a very loving uh, person as well uh, or it might be you who is this but for me that you know the king of cups can also represent um, a personality in a sense that maybe you've been through a lot of difficulties a lot of waves a lot of storms in your life and you've been very stable uh, throughout that so you've been you've been uh, very good at standing your ground as well but it can be also a helper a healer somebody who's very good in terms of communicating and dip, very diplomatic who might be kind of helping you with, with to sort out something but again uh, it can be just a very loving uh, person uh, all in all now the next card uh, in your reading is the Hierophant. So Hierophant is uh, uh, first of all uh, representing your belief belief system uh, to a certain degree that you should trust in yourself, trust in the universe that uh, something good is coming to your way. Like you know the, the Hierophant is the connector between the heaven and the earth so definitely important uh, here to kind of uh, note that especially that you have here the universe uh, bringing you something hierophant can be also connected to you know meditation and, and 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 i just cannot disregard the message here of holy love and because you have here this very uh, religious uh, card as well but uh, the hierophant is uh, can also mean a, stabi a, s a stability and stable relationship uh, of some sort and very traditional one so it's very interesting when you kind of look at this uh, middle column it, it's all about stability traditional values uh, similar values and very stable emotionally stable situation 
Hierophant can be also connected to making a commitment of some sort. Uh, it's also called a, a marriage card. Uh, so for some of you, there might be some, uh, some kind of a marriage or proposal uh, on the horizon. Like literally, that's kind of in the horizon because this is the new horizon and you have this marriage or proposal or some kind of a commitment of some sort on the horizon. But again, it has this very traditional feel uh, to it, like an old school love uh, with this Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant, like, like something like super traditional. Um, I don't know, that just kind of keeps coming that very, very traditional values. Um, all right, let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe because that's an indication that the reading helped you. And you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most. For you, it is only casting a push of a button. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe button. Only a very few percentage of people end up subscribing. So I hope you're going to be one of them and i'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating with your life so your reading continues with the seven of swords which is a very interesting card because it can be the card of lying cheating stealing or being smart being uh, uh, outsmarting people um, but it is also a card of applying a new kind of strategy, a different kind of strategy, being very diplomatic as well. Because, you know, he's stealing those swords because he doesn't want to continue to fight. And, and because of that, he is applying a different kind of strategy. And with this, like um, changing a strategy, um, being more diplomatic, uh, somehow can be beneficial for some of you or changing for more love, putting in more love into your interaction can be uh, kind of important. Now, for some of you, uh, I, I kind of get this uh, feel as well that maybe somebody stole money from you as well. Although this is kind of like a love uh, uh, and a relationship type of reading, but it can happen that maybe somebody stole money from you because you know like he's stealing and then you have this uh, ten of pentacles of of of, of uh, and and the uh, justice like uh, so maybe you've been in a relationship where you've been stolen but you know it can be also like uh, that's uh, this cheating energy but again i'm also applying a different kind of strategy and i think if you do that uh, you're going to be very successful because you have here the six of wands the six of wands which is the card of success victory and being in the center of attention so whatever your situation if you're going through a divorce you're going through some kind of a legal process that's connected to family or um, uh, some sort i think uh, you're going to be able to come out of this situation uh, in a very positive way uh, because you know you have the luck on your side you're going to be the one who is uh, is the winner. But you know, the six of wands can be also that all eyes are on you. So if you are, um, if you are uh, wanting to get somebody or, or you want to go for a relationship and you have the six of wands, first of all, nothing can stop you. You're going to be able to achieve whatever you want. And it might, might be as well that, you know, uh, maybe you have multiple people as well that are interested in you. Uh, but you also have here the hangman, which is the card of feeling stuck when you don't feel that things are moving forward. Um, some of you might need to kind of see things from a different perspective um, when this card comes up or, or sacrifice something or give up something in order to move forward. Um, or sacrifice will bring you the results that you want. And you also have here at the bottom of the deck, the Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles is the card of hard work, the card of teamwork and building something up from the ground up. So it might be that, you know, um, you are kind of working in a team in terms of like a, a process, a legal process that you're going through that's going to bring you success if you're in an existing relationship it might be that you and your partner are, are, are a pretty good team and you are working together to make things stronger 
uh, some of you might be building up something from the ground up a new relationship a new life of some sort where you need to kind of put a lot of efforts into it or it can be also that some people are helping you to uh, kind of get your life back on track or or meet somebody but you know three of pentacles uh, definitely uh, you're putting a lot of effort into something and it's gonna also bring you the acknowledgement the success that you need it's very interesting that you know this is a love uh, and relationship reading uh, but somehow you have a lot of pentacles and material energy in it maybe uh, as i said uh, it, it's, it's connected to some relationship uh, that you uh, went through but don't forget that your main message is holy love so love yourself love people around you and spread uh, the love so that's all i have for you i hope that this reading helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again